So as you can see, the Dark Knights have addressed me directly. I must be a prophet because God is speaking right to me. They want me to beat the game with just Dark Knights. So I'm gonna try to honor this. Oh, what's up, Zach? You've been here for a long time. I know your name. You spelled it wrong though. It's Z-A-C-C. -C. Philly cheesesteak, Dank Knights. Yeah, I actually like that. I'm gonna call them that from now on, so. Bone flingers. Yes, yes, I can do it. You're a great archer, absolutely. Absolutely, I will do it. Seal Dark Light. I've done one of your challenges before, but yes, I will take this one too. Even though you're just a seal. Yes, Fathoma Shabnam. I shall do it. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, just making sure. Do I even need to say it? Can you beat Kingdom Rush Vengeance on Impossible with just dank knights? Now, what I should really title this video as is Dragon showcase because <laughs> obviously you know that's kind of what just carries every challenge at this point so this let this be a good video for you if you're considering buying any dragons because sweet feathery goodness batman these guys are awesome they they're actually too awesome i started this game a year and a half ago or so and I started with Barisad because I was like, I'm going to just throw my money at the developers. Why not? And I was like, I was like, what the heck? I was so disappointed with this game because Barisad's game breaking ability of basically just nuking everything on the screen. <laughs> it, it just it made an already insanely easy game even insanely bigly more easier. So... <laughs> If you want the game to be so boring that you don't even have to try. I mean, Barisad can just kill... He can one-shot every single enemy in this game with his freaking ability up for the first, like, few levels. That's just absurd. And through all the later levels, it'll at least damage everything heavily. If not, just basically kill everything anyways. You don't have to move them around. You don't have to place your reinforcements. You just, up. Oh, I'm going to hit his ability because I'm starting to get overwhelmed, so... If you want to break the game, yeah, I recommend Barisad. Obviously, Ice Cult is really good for that too, but he's more of a, you know, specialized dragon, I suppose. Same for Merglin, the fire dragon. Merglin, I just learned from a different video that I watched, actually has like the highest DPS in the game. You know, he can't damage the entire screen at once, but he's got an area insta-kill ability that's freaking awesome. So he can just kill everything that the Dank Knights have a hard time dealing with. But, I mean, the Dank Knights do have their insta-kill abilities, which are pretty cool. It'll be about, you know, one out of every 16 or 17 times that they strike an enemy. It'll be an insta-kill when fully upgraded, so that's cool. Now, should you use Dank Knights or Orc Warrior Den? In general, just pick whichever one's better. I've seen some analyses done, and... They're pretty comparable. They're not really significantly different. It, it might seem like, you know, Dank Knight should be way better. And I would think that they have a slight edge, but it kind of depends on who you're fighting. So if you're fighting a bunch of big guys who are slow, who, you know, if you insta-kill, it's a pretty freaking nice thing, then the Dank Knights are better. If you're fighting a bunch of little swarms, you want that additional blocker that the Orc Den provides. So go with the Orc Den in that case. You want to know what I do? Neither. I never use barracks. I just let my freaking bone flingers provide me with barracks or mausoleum because they got the gargoyles or deep devil's reef because it's got those fish. Like there's just so many other options where you can get a two for one barracks. So why not just use those and skip it completely? That's one of the reasons that I just don't really like gobbler eggs because they need a barracks basically. And you have to put them in the right spot and this and that and that. And it's like, why would I go for a high maintenance archer when I can just freaking use bones that provide me everything? Bone flingers, bone flingers, you're the best. I mean, that's why I took this challenge. That was one of the reasons because the bone flingers wanted to see the dank knights in action. But honestly, it's just so underwhelming. We all know we're going to beat it. it. It's on impossible. Yeah, the last boss is, you know, kind of an issue that you're going to see here in a few minutes. But you got to use some, you know, underhanded tactics and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Do I like Dank Knights? Yeah, I do. I think that they're a fair price for what they do. They can insta-kill. That's, that's pretty sweet. They can just sit there behind their shield and just stall for like three seconds at a time. That's pretty freaking awesome. Their spiked armor ability or whatever it's called. 
that's awesome too because every time they're sitting there getting hit it's reflecting damage and that is just an amazing way to increase their overall dps they already have pretty good attacking power up to like 36 i think and that's pretty good now i've never really used orc warrior den believe it or not this game isn't like the first kingdom rush game where all you'd ever do is just build a bunch of barracks and then you know a tesla or a big bertha and then that's just how you beat every single level i never really did that in this game because i felt like the artillery was all just really underwhelming i kind of felt the same thing for kingdom rush origins it didn't seem like the rocks that you're throwing in origins do enough damage so it's like okay why would i go for those when arcane archers plus magnus kills everything so yeah i guess that's how it goes guys but if you're going to use a barracks i mean you're probably going to be the kind of guy that likes gobbler rings and you know goblin war zeppelin i like zeppelin but why would i use it if i already have five other insane towers to use freaking shrek the swamp thing you know bone flingers mausoleum blazing gent i mean you that's only four i think and <laughs> that's all you really even need but and if you want to get fancy i guess you can throw in some more support towers or, or whatever you want but yeah so i i lost to this boss the first time when you're playing this on impossible your dank knights can't just sit there and deal him a ton of damage or at least it seems that way when i'm doing this i'm not actually you know doing some deep analytical thinking and watching his health as he as uh, he attacks the dank knights but you know Merglin is freaking OP and awesome. It's too bad that Merglin's passive ability of buffing towers that are nearby by 20 or 30% or whatever it is, it's too bad that that doesn't affect barracks. If it did, I feel like that would just be awesome because then you could have guys like this who normally have like 36 max attack and it could buff it up to like 50. I, I don't know. That would just be, that'd be baller. So we're going back to this boss and... After looking at the footage of why I lost the first time, I mean, he has a crap ton of HP on Impossible, so he's hard to take down. In fact, when you're playing on Impossible, if you can't take him down fast enough, he'll actually kill your demon a handful of times, making you lose and have to start over again. This stupid freaking like 20, 25 minute level that's like freaking way too long and way too boring for what it is, okay? There should be a speed up button. I demand one now because freaking man. I'm tired of this slowness, but this time I'm just micring a little bit better and I'm making sure that the enemies don't sneak through at the back too much because that's how I lost the last one. You know, I'm still dwindling in hearts a bit, but I'm feeling more confident this time. And there he goes. So, I mean, did you really expect that we were going to fail this? It was not impossible, so it was a little bit tricky. But anyways, these dragons are amazing. If you really want to just skip around in the video and see what these dragons can do, and you're considering buying them, do it. So here we are. Can you beat Kingdom Rush Vengeance on Impossible with just Dank Knights with a dragon showcase? abso frickin baby. Octuple Frick, yeah! Like and subscribe or something!